Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And right now, I wanted to talk to you about how to do a merge request and merge your develop branch to the master branch in GitLab. So, if you're following sort of a Git flow type of development methodology and you want to get that develop branch into master, here's how you do it. Now, as you know, all things start by logging into the GitLab Administrative Console. There's my GitLab Made Easy project. I'm going to look at the repository, and there's a couple of branches I want you to look at. Right now, I've got the develop branch, and you can see I've got a total of one, two, three, four, five files in there, including the feature file, which was recently merged into the develop branch from a feature branch. and I've also got this master branch, and that master branch has one, two, three, four files in it. It does not have that feature file that uh, I mentioned a second ago. So let's take a look at that. There it is, the feature file.html. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to merge this develop branch into the master branch. So how do you go about doing that? Well, if you look at your branches, you'll notice that that master branch is protected. And that means that not anybody can go in and update that branch. They have to be either be in the developer or the maintainer role, depending on how you've actually configured the settings. And I believe if you go in the settings, look at your repository settings, you can look at protected branches, and you'll notice that if you inspect the master branch, there it is there, that uh, only maintainers are allowed to merge and push into the master branch. So. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit different than just using git at the command line in order to merge the develop branch into master. And so how do we do it? Well, what we do is we create a merge request. And so you go into the merge request area, you say I'd like to create a new merge request, and that merge request is going to be from the develop branch and into the master branch. We click the compare branches and continue. It'll notify me if there are any conflicts, but it looks like everything looks good here. I'm gonna put a little title in here and I'm gonna call it the merge develop into master example. And who am I going to assign this to? Now again, you're, if you're going to be merging from the develop branch into the master branch, uh, you're probably going to be a, a developer or a maintainer in one of those roles. And you'll want to assign the merging to somebody else who's in either the developer main, or maintainer role. Now right now I've only got one user, I've just got root. So I'm going to pretend that root is, is uh, the, I'm going to pretend that I've got other users installed here, but you would assign it to, yeah, somebody who's in one of those roles. I don't have any milestones or labels that I'm going to use here and I'm not going to squash any commits when I do that. I'm just going to ask for that merge to happen. Now this doesn't do the merge. This only sets up a merge request. Now, again, imagine I've only got one user set up right now because I don't want to complicate things for people that want to test this out on their own machine and, and they haven't gone and created a bunch of users yet. So the idea is a developer would make that request and then somebody else who's a maintainer and has rights to maintain the master branch would log in. They'd click on GitLab Made Easy and then they'd see, oh, look at this, I've got a merge request. They'd go to this merge request and they'd say, hey, some cheeky fellow wants to merge from the develop branch into the master branch. So we want to merge from develop to master. Now again, is this good Git flow? Uh, maybe not. So you, you might actually might not want to be moving right from develop into master. You may have some other branching that you'll want to do first. But for this example, that's what we're going to go forward with. I'm not going to squash any commits. It looks like I got a green light to perform this merge, so there are no merge conflicts that are going to happen. I click hard on that merge button, and now everything is merged together. And you can go and take a look at the master branch. If I look at the master branch here, you notice the feature file is in the master branch, and it wasn't there before. Now the next thing you want to do if you've done a merge is have your developers synchronize with the repository. Now if they're not working on the master branch, it might not matter that much. 
I'm going to move into my GitLab Made Easy repository here. CD GitLab Made Easy. I'll do an ls file. Well, I can do a git status first. Where am I? I'm on the develop branch. I need to go into the master branch. And when I do an ls in the master branch, notice I've only got four files. Home, readme, script, and style. That's in the branch master. I can prove that git status. So I'm on the master branch. But I'm out of sync with the server. You notice the server has this feature file.html. So how do I resolve that? I simply do a, a git pull. The git pull says, hey, there's a couple of changes here. It looks like there's some changes on master. I'm going to add a new file. If I now do an ls, you can see that that feature file has now been brought down to the client. And so not only have I done this uh, merge request where I've merged the develop branch into master, but I've also now synchronized these changes with my local Git repository. And there you go. That's how easy it is to merge the develop branch into the master branch using a GitLab merge request. So if you want to learn more about GitLab, you want to learn more about Git, you want to learn more about any of those interesting server-side technologies, head over to the serverside.com. We've got loads of tutorials over there. And for that matter, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC.